welcome to ProStitcher Designer Tutorials. I'm Kim Sandberg. Let's look at the user interface features of ProStitcher Designer. On the screen, you can watch my mouse here. We're going to start over here on the left side of the screen. Click on the File tab. You'll notice across the top of our screen here we have tabs. And all of the tabs have different functions and different ribbons underneath them. The file tab, however, doesn't have a ribbon. It has a drop-down menu, which has a lot of the features you have come to expect from software programs. We've got new, open, import, load backdrops, close, save, exit, all of these great features. We'll move on to the next tab, which is our home tab. We have the ability to open a new design page, save a design, open an existing design, do a print preview of what we have on the screen, and if we have a design loaded, we can send the design directly to ProStitcher. We also have access to our area library from the Home tab. Our next tab is the Tools tab. And you'll notice here on the very left, we have the Undo and Redo buttons. These stay stationary for the next few tabs that we're going to look at. These buttons are always here, and they really are your best friend. Under Tools, we have clipboard buttons. We have the Draw tools, which allow you to draw designs. We have the Artwork button, which has a drop-down menu and allows you to easily create any of these shapes with a simple click. Under the Outlines, we can close lines or we can swap start and end points. Notes allows us to put notes on the page. These notes are actually for patterns or other instructions you want to include in a printout. They're not for putting text into a design. The next section of buttons on the ribbon are the create buttons. And this text button right here is the one to use if you want to create a design with text in it. We have an auto digitizing feature which allows you to easily create a design from a loaded backdrop. You can duplicate a design. You can use the repeat feature to see how a continuous line design will repeat. And the carousel and reflect are really fun features to play with. The carousel allows you to create designs in a wreath shape. And the reflect allows you to do it in more of a square shape. Echo quilting allows you to put echoing lines around the outside or on the inside of a design. Repeat on path allows you to repeat designs on a creative path. Rays allows you to add rays to a simple closed shape design. The change feature is slice, which allows you to take an artwork and cut it and create two separate artworks from one. Our backdrop tools include allowing you to open a backdrop and load it and then also use the magic wand feature, which you use in conjunction with the draw tools once you have a backdrop loaded on the screen. And the last button on the tools tab ribbon is the batch conversion, which allows you to easily save a design in all of the formats that are available in ProStitcher Designer. Our next tab is the modify tab. Click on that, and you can see once again, I've still got my undo and redo buttons here on the left. We have options here to rotate or flip a design, to crop a design, to arrange it to the front and back. If we click on this little arrow here, if I have a design open, we can click on that and we can arrange to the left, to the right, to the top, to the bottom. And then we have our group functions, which allow you to group two designs together to create a design with multiple designs in it. We can arrange artwork or designs to the front or to the back here. Our center options allow you to center to the grid or to the origin point, which is the zero, zero point on the grid. Shaping allows you to combine two designs or artwork using trim, which means one overlaps over the top of the other. Weld, they come together into one shape or intersect where the only part of the design that is left is the design parts that overlap. And then distribute allows you to distribute the designs evenly, horizontally, or vertically on the screen. Our preview tab, 
once again has the undo and redo buttons. We have our convert buttons, which allows you to quickly convert artwork or stitches to the other format. When a design has been converted to stitches, you can use the preview function and you can preview how it will stitch out. And then after you have combined designs, you can use the optimize button to optimize the entry and exit stitch pass. Our view tab allows you to select what is available on your design page by choosing from the options here, grid, stitches, artworks, start and end point, interlocking, quilting space, realistic stitches, notes. You can open folders from here and you can turn your backdrop on and off. We also have zoom selections available under the view tab. Our settings tab has the general options setting and we have an entire tutorial on how to set up your general options. Our last tab is our help tab and we have a direct link to video and PDF tutorials. We have the About button, which gives information like what version you're currently running, and it also has a direct link to the website. My Home opens your home page. Registration is where you can double check all that information you put in when you originally registered. And you can always come here and check for updates under the Help tab. Those are the interface options we have available, and that's an overview of all the tabs in ProStitcher Designer.